Well, hello there, Libra. It is time for your new moon tarot reading. All right, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Melissa. It's nice to see you. I can't see you. <laughs> Welcome. We're talking about the new moon. I do my zodiac readings based on the new moon and the full moon. We're setting intentions with this one. So we are um, starting a new cycle. This is where we're setting goals and in intentions for manifestation or, you know, just personal growth. So let's see what your energy is looking like here right now. And then let's see what the cards suggest for intentions and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I also do witchy unboxing videos as well as... Um, like current event type tarot readings. I just posted one about chat GPT and you know whether or not AI is going to take over the world. I don't want to spoil it for you so go check it out if you're interested. All right what does Libra got going on right now? Three of coins, apprentice of vessels, and the judgment card. I feel like, okay, we're getting a lot of apprentice energy with most of these readings, and um, that would be our page in traditional verbiage. Um, that would be our, our apprentice, our learner, our student, if you will. Um, getting a lot of that energy here. This one came up for Le Leo or Virgo, I'm not sure. Um, but this one's been coming up a lot too. This is planning. So I feel like currently, maybe there is um, some classes that you're taking or planning to take. I feel like you're maybe putting something together here. This judgment card is just screaming to me that you're being called to do something. You're being called to make changes in your life. You're being called to um, maybe even start over in some cases. Um, but I feel like this is like you're being drawn to learn something new. Um, and so maybe I feel like you're planning some classes or possibly you're on the other end of the stick where you're planning on teaching the classes. That could be your call to action or whatever. Um, I know that's like a marketing term, but like maybe that's where you're being called to is um, possibly teaching these classes. Um, maybe something in the arts or even um, pottery specifically, but like I feel like there's some artistic aspect to this, um, but I feel like you're creating something here. You're being called to create um, if you're not already, but I feel like you're feeling it. You're, you're feeling like you're being called to something. Maybe you, you may not know where you're being called, um, so this could be informational. Um, do something with your hands, do something kind of creative. But plan it out. Um, there may be um, a, another resource that you can incorporate. Um, this Three of Coins is kind of um, telling me there are some uh, collaborations available or um, that maybe you already are working on that or you were thinking about it. Um, but the way they're stacked, too, um, is like putting things in order. So we're planning here. We're building or planning to build, however the case may apply for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is uh, kind of like a new start, but not super new. Like it's, um, it's been unfolding slowly, but you're, um, you're starting to really feel the pull. Okay. <clears throat> I, I love the egg. There's an egg. Can you see that? It's like the egg is ready to hatch and um, be free and fly free, right? I mean, obviously there are steps to take in between, um, but that's what you're learning about. So let's see what intentions we can get for you here. What intentions would be good for Libra to set for this new moon? We have the lover's card, the death card, the death card. Try to say that with a smile. Um, new beginning, transition, that's all that is. And then we have the seven of vessels, so, um, which would be cups. Uh, let's take a look at the cards. So um, I feel like there may be some options or choices out there for you. Um, taking things in a new, new direction. There may be something that needs to um, go in order to make room for this new adventure that you're on. 
Um, so I feel like there, there may be these two next to each other. Um, you, you may have a choice to make here. Um, the lover's card isn't just about like romance and, um, finding a mate, right. Or finding a partner. Um, it's also about choices here. Like we have this fire, um, like kind of like, is it worth it? Right. Um, and the locket. Normally, I think of lockets as where you um, put something you want to remember because they're gone. Um, like, you know, like your kids' pictures make sense because they're not little kids anymore and you want to remember that stage in their life. Um, but a lot of people also have like past loved ones in, the, in a locket or um, a lock of hair from your baby or whatever. Like there are, they're more sentimental but they're not necessarily something that you can easily access now, which makes me think that it's something that you have to let go here. You may need to be making a choice. So um, intentions around uh, maybe a clear path. We have this path here on the death card as well um, with the sunrise in the background. It's not just about death. And then we, the white flower is like, you know, purity, um, pure intentions. This isn't anything bad. This is just, a change, a transition. Um, we need to make room for things in our lives. Um, so, you know, this death card could be symbolizing uh, having to uh, remove a picture from a locket. You know what I mean? Like you, you want to um, let that go. So I feel like there are some choices that may need to be made here regarding letting go of something um, because we need it to make room for um, whatever this new adventure that you're about to embark on. This is our seven of vessels or seven of cups, but they're vessels because they are not cups. They are, they use all kinds of different containers. I love it. Um, but there are lots of different options out there for you. So again, I feel like this is about making choices because we also have that seven in there. The seven is taking a step back and evaluating. This is an evaluation kind of thing. Um, so evaluation and choices, me and, and the death card is telling me very strongly that there is something that um, you need to decide to let go of. So intentions on uh, setting clarity or maybe even like lighting up a path. Um, uh, if you are familiar, I did an unboxing for um, Inked Goddess Creations January box was, was it January or was it December? Oh no, it was road opener. So there were... Um, supplies that can help with a road opener spell. I feel like that is something that could be helpful here. <clears throat> I, it's, uh, yeah, it's just like a letting go. Um, but setting a clear intentions, I feel like will be actually, actually extra important. We have three major arcana cards on here. We have the judgment card, the lover's card and the death card. So this is, this is, this is a big deal. Not, not to like, um, fear monger or anything like that, but there is, this is, um, this is going to set the tone for the next stage is kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, I, I it's, uh, the clear path is really one that's standing out here. So this is, you know, choices, options, maybe even being overwhelmed with options. Um, but you know, a clear path to which option would be helpful. So that would be a good intention, I think, to set. Um, but or intentions around eliminating options that are not for you. So asking, you know, just straight up, look, if it's not meant for me, and I'm not supposed to be on this path, just let it go. Let it fall away. I don't want to see it. I don't, you know, like, like, that's how I will know. And maybe intentions around, you know, strength for not trying to keep things in your life that don't need to be there. So, um, that's what I'm getting for intentions, just clear path, um, help with decision making, um, or being, uh, bringing to your awareness, what needs to be cut out of your life. Um, that way you can start on this new path that I feel like you are currently unfolding. Um, but maybe there are some things that are kind of like tripping you up step, you know, getting in your way. Like we have the snake here, but we also have the diamonds. So, and then clarity, those glasses really fill in that clarity energy, right? Um, maybe even motivation with that flame too. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a growth period. Um, 
but in order to grow forward, sometimes we have to like, okay, here's a, it's, it's a stupid hair analogy. Okay. Your hair continues to grow there. Are, and there are people, I know people in my personal life whose hair just never gets longer. They never cut it. It just never gets longer, but it continues to grow because it's gray now. Um, <laughs> it continues to grow. But it's because you're not maintaining it and you're not like cutting off the dead weight. You have to cut off the dead stuff. It's because the hair is breaking off where it's dead. So if you were to cut off the dead weight, literally, physically, figuratively, whatever, um, then it leaves room for growth, like literally. So that's what I have for your 10 minute tarot reading. I hope those intentions um, are helpful and meaningful in your life. I will see you in the next video. Always remember the magic you seek is within you. Have a blessed day.